This graph sketching problem comes from the maths admissions test for the University of Oxford from the year 2019. We want to know the graph of sine y minus sine x equals cos squared x minus cos squared y. Is it empty? Is it non-empty but includes no straight lines? Or does it include precisely one straight line, two straight line, or infinitely many straight lines? This is actually not too difficult, uh, provided you know the tricks. Uh, we see cos squared and, well, another cos squared here, and sines just without the square. It feels pretty tempting to use the sine squared plus cos squared is one identity. So let's get rid of these cos squares and replace them with sine squared. So this can be one minus sine squared x minus one minus sine squared y, like so. Cancelling the ones and uh, writing uh, this as sine squared y minus sine squared x on the right hand side. Okay, we can apply the difference of two squares. So we have sine y minus sine x equals sine y minus sine x times sine y plus sine x, like so. And then we can cancel sine y minus sine x on both sides. Nope, no, we cannot. We cannot do that because, well, this could be zero. Sine y could equal sine x, so we definitely can't cancel it because what if it's zero? Okay, what do we do instead? Well, we just bring everything onto one side. So we get sine y minus sine x minus this whole guy here. So minus uh, sine of y minus sine of x. I'll be a little bit lazy here. And then sine of y plus sine of x. Okay, cool, and that equals zero. Now we can factor out the sine y minus sine x. And then we get one minus s of y minus s of x equals zero. And now we just need to work out whether this graph has any straight lines, and if it does, how many does it have? Well, actually, it's pretty clear that it does have straight lines. In fact, has infinitely many. Let's just stare at this part here. When is this zero? Well, this is clearly zero if y equals x, but it's also pretty clearly going to be zero if y equals x plus 360 degrees, because sine is periodic with period 360 degrees. Also, if I replace 360 with two lots of 360, so 720, this will always be, also be a straight line on this graph um, when y equals x plus 720. That will also make this bracket here zero and therefore be a straight line, which would be on this graph. And you can continue this. You can add on n lots of 360 degrees. All of these would be straight lines on this graph here, where n is any integer you want, and that automatically gives us the answer E.